Hello Go fans! It's Wednesday the 18th of December, we've got four new doors to open and today is going to be a flag free zone. Every day between now and Christmas Eve, I'm going to be opening up every door on every LEGO Advent Calendar, including 41382 LEGO Friends, 60235 LEGO City, 75245 LEGO Star Wars, and 75964 LEGO Harry Potter. Tuesday's selection of gifts was definitely of variable quality. Proving that flags are most definitely not fun was the LEGO Harry Potter calendar. We got the final set of house flags and this time it was Hufflepuff. Although the house flags have provided some really nice elements, I really do hate advent calendar filler. To ensure fairness and consistency, the flags earned Harry Potter one point. In third place and earning two points was this Series 6 escape pod from LEGO Star Wars. I very nearly gave this second place but then opted for something a little bit more festive. LEGO Friends came in second, earning three points for this pair of Christmas tree gift decorations. I wouldn't usually get too excited about something like this, but I really like the fact that you could open these up and find a little gift inside. That means Tuesday's winner taking home four points for the LEGO City Advent Calendar was this minifigure. I definitely couldn't figure out why this guy was holding a fire extinguisher, but I really liked his style. Minifigures usually score really well, and this was no exception. Today I'm opening up every door number 18, and that means in one week's time it will be Christmas! So let's get on with it! It's beginning to look a lot like Wednesday. And that means it's time for door number 18 on the LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar. Let's see what great Star Wars action stuff we've got in here today. And we've got one of these resistance guards who get shot by stormtroopers! So it seems that LEGO Star Wars is setting the standard for the day. It's always good to get a minifigure, and even better to get one from the original trilogy. This is one of the rebel troopers who could be seen trying to protect Princess Leia aboard the Tantive IV. And he's dead already. He's dressed in these standard grey pants because that was a really cheap way to dress the extras in a mid-1970s movie. The torso printing is a little bit more exciting and consists of a black vest with lots of pockets over a blue shirt. There's also some detailing for the belt, but this is printed on the torso and not on the pants. Are you going cheap on us, Lego? There's some more detail around the back with pouches, presumably for some kind of munitions. But by far the most recognisable feature of the Rebel Trooper is the novelty oversized shiny helmet. This includes a completely black visor, which is super useful for seeing through, and seems to have been designed for somebody with a much bigger head. Firepower comes in the shape of this very standard Lego Star Wars blaster rifle. I don't think he's going to hit many stormtroopers with that. The facial print is nice and crisp, looks a little bit like Han Solo, and incorporates a chin strap for the novelty oversized hat. On the back of the head we have a second and much more determined expression. It's always great to get a minifigure out of a LEGO Star Wars advent calendar, but I am mindful that this guy is an extra and not an A-list character. How well this guy does today depends totally on the other calendars. Speaking of which... Next we have LEGO Friends and door number 18. Let's hope this is not a Christmas tree gift today. I'm going to open this up and what have we got here? This is... Oh, I see. So it is a Christmas tree gift. We've got the part at the top there where we can tie string to it, even though LEGO don't give us any. And that is some kind of toy soldier or nutcracker, I guess. So today's gift from LEGO Friends is a very traditional soldier or nutcracker Christmas tree decoration. At the top of the hat, we have a perfect place to tie a piece of string. Alternatively, you could attach one of these custom-made pieces, which would be perfect. Are you watching, LEGO Friends people? That wasn't so difficult, was it? But LEGO Friends is way too cheap, so you're going to have to find your own piece of string. Unless there's 23 pieces of string behind door number 24, of course. I do like the simple, festive nature of this build. It's something you could easily make at home from your own spare parts. We've got a 2x2 plate for the boots and some blue circular pieces for the pants. Looking very much like one of the Queen's Royal Guards, we have a red uniform top and some modified 1x1 clip elements for the arms. I like the way these have been attached really loosely so they can swing from side to side. There's a yellow piece to give a hint that this guy might actually have a face and then a bearskin hat. There's no doubt this is very oversimplified, but that does add to the charm. It gives it a very retro LEGO feel which doesn't really match with LEGO Friends. Will this guard march away with 4 points for LEGO Friends today? We'll find out in just a minute. Moving on down the pile, we have LEGO City, and of course it's door number 18 again. So let's see what we've got here today. And yeah, it's some kind of table, I guess. Uh, so we've got a table with chicken and uh, whatever that is. I don't think I'd want to eat that. Um, but also a mug. So nice elements there, but um, yeah, interesting choice. 
Clearly having learned nothing from the downfall of Harry Potter, the LEGO City team today have given us this festive table. The table itself is a really simple construction made out of nine LEGO elements. Thankfully we have some accessories on top of the table to make things a little bit more interesting. There's a clear plastic cup which is desperately missing some eggnog, a chicken or turkey drumstick, and to complete the festive feast, some leaves. Nummy nummy. Christmas is a feast day and I can definitely see where LEGO City were coming from here. The problem I have with this is that the table is just too small and it doesn't have enough exciting food elements. If you compare this to one of the tables we got from Harry Potter which didn't score well, this is actually a pretty poor imitation. And finally for today we have the LEGO Harry Potter advent calendar which has been going down in my estimation over the past few days. Let's have a look behind door number 18 and see if it can redeem itself. Um, yeah, we've got a minifigure. Oh, it's Professor Phileas Flitwick, the half-goblin guy. Well, what a way to end the day. Making up for the disappointment of yesterday's flags, we have a minifigure from LEGO Harry Potter. This is half-goblin Professor Phileas Flitwick. It's only the third Professor Flitwick minifigure LEGO Harry Potter have ever done, and this one is an exclusive. The first version came with the 4842 Hogwarts Castle set from 2010. I've got a video on that coming up very soon. The next version came with the Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts collectible minifigure series. And now we have this exclusive advent calendar version complete with unique torso print and unique facial expression. Being of goblin stature, Professor Flitwick stands on these small childlike legs. Even though the torso print is new, you'll notice we have some continuity. He's wearing the same shirt and vest you see pictured on the collectible minifigures version. He also wears the same bow tie which is a really cool element and has the same dark brown hairpiece. It's a massive improvement on the 2010 version they stole from the Beatles. What I really like about Professor Flitwick, however, is the facial expression. I don't know why he's looking so surprised, but I love it. This was certainly a fantastic gift to get from behind Dumbledore number 18 on the LEGO Harry Potter advent calendar. But did Professor Flitwick take a big enough dose of Felix Felicis to win the day today? Let's find out! With minifigures making up half of the gifts from behind door number 18 on every LEGO advent calendar, this has been a very good day. But which one of these festive gifts deserves a vial of Felix Felicis from Professor Slughorn? And which one deserves to drink the draft of living death? Let's award some points! In last place today and earning one point for LEGO City is this festive table. I think the intentions were good but the execution was just poor. The table was a simple build and the quality of accessories just didn't match Harry Potter's. In third place and earning two points is LEGO Friends. I really like the simplicity but it just doesn't really fit in with the LEGO Friends theme. On a day when we have two minifigures to choose from, I think third place is well justified. That pitches the big guns together in a battle to the death. Which one of these fantastic minifigures is going to take home all four points? In second place today and earning three points for LEGO Star Wars is the Rebel Trooper. It's a great minifigure and if it wasn't going up against Harry Potter, it might have won. Being one of the more generic and plentiful minifigures really didn't help this. Good effort from LEGO Star Wars, but not enough to beat Felix Felicis. That means Half Goblin Hogwarts Professor Phileas Flitwick wins a day. Professor Flitwick takes the maximum 4 points for LEGO Harry Potter. So after adding 10 points to the advent calendar totals today, how does that affect the leaderboard? Remaining in last place with 41 points is LEGO City. In third place with 45 points is LEGO Friends. Also in joint third place with 45 points is LEGO Star Wars. And that means LEGO Harry Potter has extended their lead. They're out in first place with 49 points which gives them an 8 point advantage over LEGO City and a 4 point advantage over Star Wars and LEGO Friends. But do you agree with today's scoring? Did Professor Phileas Flitwick break international wizarding law by using Felix Felicis? And did LEGO City really deserve one point for this meagre festive feast? As always, please feel free to share your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. I do read them all and if your comment catches my attention, I may include you in tomorrow's video. Looking back at yesterday's comments, it seems I did a great job of upsetting all of the Hufflepuffs. It was a good day, a very good day. Star Lobster 4 was thinking of unsubscribing because I called Hufflepuff the least cool house in Hogwarts. Then they realised I was right. Good job Star Lobster 4. Jack McBride's comment was probably my favourite of the day. Next year LEGO Harry Potter is going to have 24 days of flags, LEGO Friends will have 24 days of string, LEGO Star Wars will have 24 days of battle droids, and LEGO City will do whatever they want. Well I've got to say the LEGO Star Wars army builders will definitely be happy with that. 
Now a ghoul picked up on my complete bewilderment every time I open a door on LEGO Star Wars. You're absolutely right, Noah. My reaction to pretty much every LEGO Star Wars advent calendar door is... And... I have no idea. Uh, what is that? That's some kind of... Marcus Norton said Jeremy is going to regret the flag thing when he opens up day 24 to find 2,000 flags. Actually, Marcus, I have opened up door number 24 on LEGO Harry Potter, and this is what I found inside. Crispy Skins made a great point. I was surprised the minifigure was holding a fire extinguisher. But actually, if you go back a few days, there was a table with a raging inferno on the top. Now that you mention it, it all makes sense. And finally for today, a great idea from Moa Kamole Homestrum. I'm sure I completely messed that up, but hopefully I was in the ballpark. Your idea was to double the points for the last day, given that the 24th door should have the best gift. That's a great idea, and I also like the idea of giving bonus points to the calendar where all of the gifts work together. Although that would not be great news for Star Wars. Wednesday was a good day, delivering some great gifts from behind door number 18 of every LEGO Advent Calendar. With only six doors remaining, I have high aspirations for the remaining gifts. So please have a fantastic Wednesday, and don't forget to join me tomorrow morning as we open up every door number 19 on every LEGO Advent Calendar.